Hello everyone, my name is Linda Nguyen. Hello, my name is Michelle T. I am Hoa Fan, I'm teaching economics. Hi, my name is Ed Wade. My name is John Walsh. Hello, my name is Dr. Justin Matthew Pang. Before that, I was in Thailand and I've also taught in Sudan, Greece, uh, Abu Dhabi, Korea, many other countries. Prior to coming to Vietnam, I've been teaching in Singapore for more than 10 years. But before that, I also worked in the hotel trade. I've worked in Australia, I've worked in Singapore, I've worked in London, Wales, New York, and also in the Caribbean. So one of the interesting um, methodologies or pedagogies that we offer is to bring our students out to the field. I've brought students to JW Marriott here in Hanoi. I've also brought them to the Hilton. And we also have a working agreement with the Intercontinental Hotel Group uh, so that our students will benefit from internships and also to have hotel visits. Actually, the reason why I choose RMIT is because it reminds me of my old memories in the University of Queensland. But the difference here is RMIT, especially Hanoi campus, we have smaller class, so I can take care of the students better and I can customize the teaching to fit with the students' different style. Here at RMIT, we have a standardized version which comes to us from Melbourne, and so we work to the concept that whichever campus you are studying at for RMIT, whether it is Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, uh, Shanghai, Singapore, Barcelona, or Melbourne itself, you're going to get the same level of teaching and you're going to be assessed at the same level. So it's a really a global university in that sense. For me, it's really about building relationships and opening dialogues with my students so that they feel comfortable asking me questions and, and I feel comfortable asking them and kind of pressing them to reach into places where they might not have gone before. Um, about my teaching method, I always believe in practical learning. So learning something that students would find useful in their life and in their career in the future. And I always try to you know, include interactive activities in my learning because I believe that you know, learning through interaction with other people, with their friends in class, but also with lecturers and also with clients, that would definitely help um, and benefit their learning. I organise uh, field trips as part of the courses. So for example, recently we went to see some really good examples of public art, um, some examples of um, traditional maps and history in different parts of, the, of Hanoi. From my previous study and uh, work experience, I have a lot of network from the industry, from the ministries like State Bank of Vietnam, Ministry of Finance, and uh, many other companies, so they become very valuable sources for my uh, students. For example, for macroeconomics uh, 1 and macroeconomic 3, so I invited the guest speaker from the State Bank of Vietnam to talk about monetary policy in Vietnam and inflation. And uh, for international trade, we also have the guest speaker, a researcher, uh, Mr. Tuấn, Phạm Anh Tuấn, from the Vietnam Academy of Social Science to, make, to uh, discuss about US-China trade war and also the manager of the logistic company to talk about the experience, uh, the impact of trade work on companies. I guess when the Vietnamese students transition from local high schools into an English medium university like RMIT Vietnam, sometimes they have to adapt to different um, environment or teaching approach which they were not prepared in high school. For example, at RMIT Vietnam, um, everything is taught in English. So the first challenge they have to go through is to understand lectures in English and do the reading materials preparation for, for class um, in English. So I think that in class, when I lecture, 
Um, I always check with my students whether they understand what I'm saying. Um, if I speak too fast, I would let my students know or ask me to slow down. Or um, if there's any difficulties um, you know, they have to uh, face, then they can talk to me about it openly. I always have like the milestone to check up with my students um, whether you know their progress, how are they doing, the assessment, any challenges they have, if they have any draft or any ideas for the assessment and they feel they're not sure of what they're doing, then they can talk to me about it or send me the draft and I can have a look and give them early feedback. Um, if there's academic support that students need, I can refer them to Student Academic Success and they're really good in helping students. If it's an issue of health, um, whether physical health or mental health, we have the health and wellbeing services and I would try to encourage the student to, to take advantage of those. One example was a work integrated learning course I was teaching. In that course we had, at the end of the semester, we have the final presentation. And in the final presentation, the students have to deliver their pitch, which is a presentation of their proposal, to real life businesses as clients. So one of the strengths of RMIT uh, professional communication program is we involve a lot of real businesses as our clients. And in that presentation, only 20 minutes after the pitch, one of my students in that class was offered the internship by one of the clients. I think she was overjoyed and you know, none of us would thought that was possible. Yet, that I would say, don't let your curiosity be, uh, be a victim of the COVID-19. You still have many, many resources, not only online, but offline and within your personal relationships with, with your friends and family with, and, and people who you're communicating with. Prepare yourself for the unexpected and you have to be really flexible um, and to adapt to the changes in terms of learning, in terms of teaching, in terms of how to improve yourself and um, how to learn new knowledge, not in the old way. One thing I would say to not just young people, but people of any age is talk to somebody. Whatever situation you might find yourself in, whatever problem, whatever opportunity, be sure that somebody else has suffered or been through the same thing before. It's been interesting times at the moment and there's been lots of challenges with the new normal. But there's also been a lot of opportunities as well. I've been really excited by um, the opportunities that are available in to develop social media and online contents. I hope to see a lot of you out there to um, visit RMIT soon and I really hope to see you in professional communication program.